PNG Stockman here. Today, I want to laugh at some anti-vaxxers. But first, I have to go to Macca's and get the Travis Scott meal. My path is being blocked by PNG boat stock image. And it's not, he's not letting me pass. If I talk about arguments on both sides on the ethical issue on anti-vaxxers well today i wanted to get the golden godfrey's eight inch sub with 20 subway cookies at subway okay i'll take you up on that deal and talk about anti-vaxxers and the ethical issues on both sides anti-vaxxers those people that refuse to be vaccinated or vaccinate their kids. Easy to laugh at, but they're seriously putting people in danger. Pretty much all religions agree, except the weird cult underground stuff that vaccinating is the right thing to do. Well, today, hopefully to pass before I can get the Audi Danny DeVito carrots. I'm gonna look at anti-vaxxers arguments and pro-vaxxers arguments. I'm gonna alternate it between the anti-vaxxers and pro-vaxxers argument. And that's how it's gonna be structured. Without further ado, let's get stuck into the first argument. Things cause autism is one of the many points anti-vaxxers like to talk about. It's based on a scientific study done by Dr. Wayfield in 1998. I'm pretty sure the scientific study had no outside influence and wasn't rigged at the slightest or told to make up a conclusion. Vaccines do cause autism. Is it really that bad than the alternative of death? Would you rather have autism or be dead? All I'm saying, I'd rather take a little bit of autism than being dead. The vaccines do give you protection against diseases. Depends what the vaccine's for. It works by giving you a dead version of that virus before your body realizes it's a virus and gets makes its own protocol to deal with it. Say if there's a virus called Kelton Draft and it affects people and they can't with a vaccine, the vaccine's gonna lower the spread because the body can deal with it because it knows how to deal with it. It's like cold and flu shots. It helps people not get the flu as bad if they didn't have a vaccine. This argument is actually a funny one. Saying I won't put anything that's not natural in my body is kind of weird. Because vaccines do pertain stuff that's natural, but it's in scientific terms. That might scare people off. Say, will you eat some sodium chloride? Is one of example. Sodium chloride is salt, but if you don't know what sodium chloride is, it sounds scary and unnatural. It's not everything is natural is good for you. Like, if I eat dirt, that is not good for me in a sense that I won't eat lava because it is natural, but it's still dangerous. This point that doctors approve it is actually a really valid point. Scientists and doctors test it for its safe for medical use. This is one video that I'm going to play clips on. Is when a guy went to an anti-vax rally and asked if there's any doctors. Surprisingly, there's not. No. Are you a doctor? No. Oh, that's true. That you are right. There wouldn't be a doctor here. Since I'll trust something that a doctor. 
medical officials tell me, then go off some random crack job conspiracy theory. Now, Jeff, are you here to protest anti-vax or are you from the Matrix? I'm here to raise education and bring attention to people that are malinformed and believe vaccines are safe when there's no actual evidence to prove that they're safe or effective. You take the red pill, I can blame you. <laughs> is there anything else that you would like to say? Once you give up your liberty for security, what you end up with is tyranny. And what their government is proposing is medical tyranny at its finest. If they can't get vaccines and you think it's the vaccines that might be causing them harm and you don't want other parents to go through it because of their children being allergic is kind of more grey. It's best if their children get vaccinated because that lowers the likelihood of their kids from getting it from a friend that might lead them in a critical and vulnerable position being unwell then this is kind of can be spin for pro-vax and anti-vax this pro-vaccination point is actually a pretty good one and a scientific point vaccines being able to slow down um, pandemics say um, if there's a pandemic let's call it count and draft and count and draft again has taken over the world and people are affecting and it's killing lots of people a vaccine would make it better for people immune and can easily fight off the disease if they catch it and it lowers the likelihood of people being vulnerable to that disease because vaccines are important in dealing with a pandemic 2020 if a vaccine comes around Anti-vaxxers might not go for it, putting others at risk and having a chance for that virus to mutate. Getting vaccinated is a good way to slow down the spread of diseases and stuff can go back to normal. That's why when a new outbreak happens, the vaccines are quickly trying to be made for they can not get the virus to spread before it becomes a pandemic. All right, boat, boat PNG, uh, dot gif. I have did what you asked. Now let me pass to get the Gordon Ramsay special sauce from KFC. Thanks. Now that that was fun. Hopefully, what what do you mean? I might have not passed. Hopefully, I will pass, and then. I will get some K Kanye KFC lettuce from Nando's. Please, please let me pass. Uh, people enjoyed it, I think, but now time for the intermission. So basically, I really suck at fucking English. So once I got a uh, literal zero on an English exam, so... In start of this year, I had to do a thing about a commercial. So what I decided to do was do one on the flex tape commercial, but do it a video for I don't have to do a PowerPoint and present because I really suck at speaking. So um, out further ado, this one got positive through people who've joined it all the way through and people were visibly happy. Um, the second part you'd be waiting for, the flex tape one. I feel swimstantly patch bombs. No one leaky pipes can cause major powerful adhesive to strong your water. Now draining them. There's an on air flex cause big down. Yeah. And we only not only this, but a seal. Completely dry. <laughs> this can do tape. The commercial that you witness extends space and time. Let me tell you why the Flex Tape commercial is one of the greatest commercials. Hello, PNG Stockman here. Wow, Flex Tape and the family of products have weird and wonderful commercials advertising Flex Tape and family of products. Here, take this clip from the start. This is all going right out just with the performance of Slapping the Tape. Many jokes were spawned by that image. There are many more from the commercial. Today, I want to have an analysis of the three components that made the flex tape commercial really special. First film being editing and shots. Second one being Phil Swift. The third one is the impact it had on the internet. So what are the techniques the flex tape commercial use? Three, 
that I'm going to talk about the section. Silent font showing the product actually working and the music. So let's get started with the stylus font that you can see out through the video here, here, and here. It makes you associate with wet red paint. Let me show you what I mean. See this red car? Now it's raining. What does it make you think? Flex tape. Now I have my point. On to the next thing. Shot of the flex tape working. That will be on screen now. The main purpose of these shots is to try and convince the skeptical people with the product actually working. Take my friend here as an example. His name is Mr. Consumer. He's gonna watch one of these clips. Pulls broken. Wow, it works. Oh, I'm gonna buy flex tape metal. Thanks, flex tape. And there's also a shot of regular tape family and flex working. Yeah, all right, moving on to the next segment. Music is one of the things that commercials like to use. They use a really popular song or stock music or make up their own. As for the flex tape commercial, I don't know, it's either stock m music or they make their own. The research I did led me to a dead end. Listen to the music it uses and listen to the chord progression. As you just heard, the music is... It is simple and energetic and had a nice chord progression too. The music is getting people pumped for the more likely to buy the product. With that part of the way, time to move on to part 2, Bill Swift. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! Bill Swift is the only person alive that can build it off. Uh, screw other commercial guy, other commercial guy, uh, maybe Billy Mays, but definitely Bill Swift. He sells it with his charisma, and try not quoting him. It's very hard. He's got some really memorable lines that make the Flex Drake favorite really special. Like that's a lot of damage, I saw this broken heart, ye doggy, and don't eat him. Bill Swift is memorable, and he sticks in your memory. Look at this handsome man. You can't tell me you're not thinking of flex tape when you hear the name Phil. Bill Swift's personality throughout the video is kind of goofy, and he has a sinister side. You gotta keep him away from all boats, or else you know you're gonna destroy him. And he's gonna repair with any flex tape products he can. That's why the internet loves him. Speaking of internet, that's a good segue onto the next part. Hey, stop! I, why? The relationship that the internet had was the flex tape commercial by being actually a good commercial. There's two types of commercials, one of them trying to be hip and cool and I just like that one commercial where the fridge drops and you need a new fridge. Something that people can easily joke about. The flex safe commercials are one of those commercials that spawned many jokes jokes and many videos were made on flex safe. Trying out flex safe reacting to flex safe commercial and the most notable one is the flex safe video that John Tron made and its sequel that Bill Swift actually shows up in and that's a bold move that flex safe will do. Flex8 is clearly self-aware and continues adding on to the jokes. That leads me to the point that I'm getting at. People buying Flex8 ironically. It actually attributes you to sale. Take this Flintstones by the gummies. I brought them ironically. I don't want Flex8 ironically. It, it's got a purpose, but people will buy it from irony. Or as a joke, or just to say they're Flex8. Oh yeah, and I'm forgetting about the fan art, music remixes. ITPs, video essays, or merchandise, or flex tape. This is why flex tape is one of the greatest commercials for all this time. And that ends my video. Thanks for watching.